I think I'd die if I couldn't shoot. I do get immense pleasure, immense pleasure. And it could be, I could be psychological, it gives you some power, but mostly it's the thrill. It's the thrill of being able to look and decide what's important, what's interesting. I believe in far as what you do with your camera and with your art, you're always gonna make compromises with with the system or some things which may not be what your ethic is, whatever the hell your ethic is, you know. But I mean, medium cool, I did exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> Early slates of medium cool did not say medium cool on it. It said concrete wilderness. And uh, it was supposed to be a picture about a young boy who found animals in the city. Uh, Peter Bart at Paramount knew I was a cameraman, and when he had that concrete wilderness on the books of Paramount, he said, this is a good one for a cameraman to direct. And when I got back to my hometown in Chicago to make the concrete wilderness, uh, I saw that uh, there was electricity in the air, there was things going on, mostly based on the Vietnam War, the black movement, um, the poverty of Appalachia, all the ferment that was going on in that city at that time. And so I wrote this script, which is essentially the script that Medium Cool turned out to be. The civil rights movement is really part of the, of the anti-war movement because war essentially is part of racism. Uh, War says that there's the other, there's the bad guys, they're different, and you can kill them. I was in anti-war movements since I was a teenager. And after World War II, where I was decorated and got the Silver Star and all that stuff, I began to think um, that there's got to be better ways to... Um, to deal with the problems of the world and killing other people.